Hello, 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 and welcome to Agoria Box Opening with Adifer. I bought a box here of Agoria Behemoth, <laughs> layer of behemoths, and I got this cool uh, box topper, box promo. I got the box topper in there too, which we will open later in the stream. Um, but this is really neat. I really like the guy. I'm going to make an EDH deck or commander deck, whatever you want to call it out of him with him as the commander because I mean what's cooler than having Godzilla as your commander so I guess let's get into it we're gonna start opening the uh, the box here and seeing what we get so I'm gonna cut it open to make life a little easier for me and do it again over here and then again over here maybe probably Let's put that in the... There we go. Alright, that didn't work on the other side, but that's fine. So, open that up. And then open the box up. Maybe. Maybe open the box up. Magic does not want me getting into this box, does it? Alright. So. First, we've got the box topper. Look at that. We're not actually going to open it yet. Um, I've actually heard some complaints about it being bent. So, uh, this looks pretty straight to me, which is excellent. We will open that later in the stream. Let's get these suckers out. I'm a big fan of shuffling my, uh, my packs before I open them. It... I know it's stupid, but it's a little root, uh, routine I have, and so we're gonna do it. We're gonna shuffle up these packs. One shuffle, and two shuffle, maybe two shuffle. We got this, we don't got this, I don't got this at all going to damage cards. <sighs> okay, so maybe that was a bad idea, but I've done it before and it's worked before. It looks like these packages are packs are a little bit less um a little bit less uh what's the word I'm looking for? sturdy than some previous packs. So we're just going to put these over here and we're going to get right into it. So I've been hoping I've been looking forward to this set, playing a lot of it on uh Magic Arena and I'm really enjoying a lot of the game in general. Um, the mutate mechanic is probably one of my favorite mechanics to come out recently. And as much as I'm an artifact player, um, I also have really been enjoying the um, the this set a lot. It's probably become my favorite set. Ooh, so we got a companion token, a forest, and look at that! Starting off with a Yadaro. I'm actually a big fan of this card. Um, because free 8-8s eight with haste and trample are never a bad thing. Uh, charge with forever beast, nice. And just looking at the rest of this. Ooh, adventurous impulse, I think that's going to see some play. At least it's going to see some play in my decks. And uh, we're going to keep going here. And ooh, got a migratory great horn, full art with the um, manga styling. So we're going to put that over here. And then the con the rare over here, and then we're gonna set aside the uncommons, and then put the commons here for now. Uh, token and basic lands. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna next, and then um, we're gonna crack this next pack. See what we get. Ooh, I like these things. These are the uh, counters. Been hoping to get one of those. Said pretty sure I was going to, but that's not the point. So now we're going to open. We got a Dismal Backwater and a Foil Swiftwater Cliffs. That is um, underwhelming for a foil, but it's pretty and I like it and I'm going to use it. And Colossification for our second rare. All right. Another Charge. Heartless Act. That card has been seeing a lot of play. It's, a, I mean, it's a murder for two. And then we got the rest of these cards here. Commons and uncommons. Ooh, Blood Curdle, big fan of that card. It's a nice little kill spell. Not quite, you know, a two mana kill spell, but we'll take it, right? Well, I will take it. I don't know about you. 
All right, so next we go to the next pack. And I gotta remember to just throw these over there so I can take care of them afterwards instead of throwing them in random places and having to search. All right, so a dinosaur token. Turkin, dinosaur turkin. Goes up there. Uh, Thornwood Falls. Ooh, foil gem razor. That is a nice start. Look at that. That is gonna go with our foils and then Kolga, so we already got our foil rare, our first foil rare. Hopefully we get more of those. And then Kolga, nice. I've been doing pretty decent in this pack, or at least I'm happy with it. Um, ooh, Pl Proud Wild Bonder. I really like that card. So we're going to drop those there, and then let's take a quick look here. Ooh, Fertilid. I always like the Fertilid. Uh, Hug Your Mom becomes Hug Your Dinosaur, which arguably better. More, more, uh more uh, mutate cards. We've got this one, and this one makes each opponent discard a card. Really big fan of that. And then, of course, Day Squad Marshal. Alright, so let's uh, let's keep going. So far, we've been doing alright. Been pretty happy with what I've been getting. I don't know about you, but you're not me. Alright, so we got a Human Soldier token. And a Swamp. Ooh, my first Triome. Big fan of these cards, because, you know, who doesn't like fetching one of three? Yeah, they come into play tapped, but I mean, they cycle. Uh, they kind of do everything you want outside of coming to play untapped, and you can fix that. Uh, but yeah, so we got the Indatha Triome, my first Triome. Looks like the Plains, Swamp, and Forest. Really happy about that. So we're going to put those separately because I'm a big fan of Triomes. Uh, hopefully I get many, many more of those. All right, so we got Neutralize, Sonorous Halberd. Oh, Grim Dancer. I love this card. I've been playing the crap out of it in, uh, in Arena because it's just so multiply useful. I'm probably going to put it in commander decks and stuff too just because of how value like how much you value you can get out of it for 3 mana for a 3/3 three, three, with two different abilities that you can choose among 3. Like that's good stuff. Almighty Brushwag doesn't love him. Uh, Thieving Honor mained. Let's see anything else. Ooh, we got another uh another uh manga Art, the Cavern Whisperer, Mutate, Dis each opponent discards a card, so let's put that over there, and then, not much else there, so let's open the next pack, next pack, we go, so far I've been fairly happy with this, Foil Gem Razor I'm really happy about, really like that card a lot, um, so, you know, can't complain, I mean I can complain, but I'm not going to, alright, so we got that, Winds Guard, Foil neutralize. That's meh. Ooh, Eerie Ultimatum. Big fan of this. Definitely want to do something with this in Commander. Kind of want to do something with this in Pioneer, won't lie, but don't think I can pull that off. So, let's... Uh, ooh, another Grim Dancer. Ooh, another... Uh, another manga card. That's really cool. This one is the Majestic Oricorn. Gain four life on Mutate. One of the uh, key cards in that cycling deck that literally everyone's running. Farfinder and Blitzleech. Alright. Ooh, this one's... I have a good feeling about this pack. I don't know why I do, but I have a good feeling. We haven't gotten any Mythics yet, so maybe maybe this is our first Mythic. Here's here's hoping. Fingus Crust. Alright. Alright, we've got a Plains. And a Foil Unlikely Aid. And a Shark Typhoon. <laughs> I love, I love Sharknado, the card. Like, just so great, so great. And it's not, it's, I'm not sad about it, won't lie, not sad. Uh, another Mutate guy, and then we got these, ooh, Wingful Terran, good stuff, Blister Spit, uh, Durable Coil Bug, all right. Next up. Got a companion, Bloodfell, and a Fondlin Fel Felidar. It's a four drop for a one five that creatures who control with vigilance uh, can tap things. So this is really good with that new cat commander, and I definitely would like to see if I can pull something that off. Um, General's Enforcer, like that. Pouncing Shark, and then another Dranith Healer, Cloud Piercer, Corpse Churn. All right. Oh. Mm. 
next human token. Look at that. Human soldier token. Planes. Ooh, foil trumpeting gnar with the uh, manga full art art. That's very cool. And a slither wisp. I am a big fan of slither wisps. So we're going to put the alternate art foils there. A uh, big fan of slither wisp. Uh, really interesting for a deck that you can put together with that. Back for more. Mysterious egg. Really want to do something with uh, with mutate. Fire prophecy, good stuff. Memory leak, not as good stuff. But, I mean, not terrible. Just no thoughtsies. Though it exiles, so, you know. Definitely. And it cycles. And I know a lot of people are using it in that cycle deck. Hey, look, our first... I hate these things. I hate these things. I know they want to advertise Magic the Gathering Arena, but, like, why? I hate these things. Like, I'm just going to put them off camera because they just, they, they depress me. All right, let's see. Ooh, Crystalline Giant. Big fan of Crystalline Giant. Just so, again, with the cards that can just kind of do anything in this set. I love them so much. Channeled Force. I don't think it's worth anything, but I like the card. Though, the Crystalline Giant probably worth a couple bucks. Dreamtail. All right. Next up. I'm I'm feeling like I'm I'm whiffing, whiffing, because we haven't gotten any mythics yet. But I mean, we've got a ton more to go, so I guess I guess I shouldn't be uh, complaining except for these these stupid things. If you're gonna buy packs, you know that Arena exists. We don't need to know more that Arena exists. Ooh, Mythos, the first Mythos card. I love the art on these things. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Like, the art on these things is great. It's just got this old-school kind of very neat art. I really like it a lot. So we're going to put that there. Flourishing Fox. It's another good card for those cycling decks. And I haven't really seen a lot of the good cards from the other decks, but, you know... Ooh, another uh, another full art mutator it goes there. All right. Next up. You know, I'm I'm liking it because the one plus one plus one counters. I'm gonna have those tranquil cove and spellbreaker wolverine. And Kahira, speaking of Kahira earlier, really happy about that. Definitely want to do something with her. She's a great card, or he's a great, it, they are a great card. Uh, the Void Beckoner. Insatiable Hemophage, full art, Insatiable Hemophage. Not sad about that. Snare Tactician, another one of those cycling cards that people are using. All right. move on to the next one. Love the art on that insatiable hemophage. Let's take a look at that again real quick. Just crazy cool. It's very neat. Very, very much like that card. And I love the art on it. It's very, very nice. Can definitely do some things with it in a, like a Garuda deck or something. Alright, human soldier... Not Garuda. But speaking of Garuda, ask and ye shall get Garuda, I suppose. Very good card. Have a few of those decks on uh, on uh, Arena. Very much enjoy the different things you can do with it. Dire Tactics, very good card. Excellent freaking card. Uh, Capture Sphere, good for Draft, which we're not doing. Hug your Dino. All right. Moving on. Love that I mentioned Garuda, and out he popped. Let's try this again. Let's see. Uh, so instead of Garuda, let's mention um, Brokos, because he is he is awesome, and I love that card. So let's see if we can get a Brokos. Ooh, I didn't know they had different arts for the different tokens. That's very cool. They're both human soldiers with different art. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Ruinous Ultimatum, another Ultimatum. Not sad about it. In fact, probably my favorite of the Ultimatums. Uh, Skull Prophet, I like that card a lot. 
Greater Sandworm, people seem to be using that too. Hey look, if you didn't know that Arena exists, you don't need a table. You just need a computer. Foil Dranif Stinger. One of those uh, cycling cards. Extinction events. Yes. Big fan. Big fan of extinction event. Chittering Harvester. Very nice. And then let's just go through these real quick. See if there's anything we're missing that's interesting. Like a manga art. And on to the next pack. Thinking we'll do the box topper after this. I don't have any viewers yet, so maybe not. Maybe I'll wait to see when I get viewers um, to do that. Hey, look, it's a third art for a human soldier. Big fan, big fan. And, ooh, Nethroy, Apex of Death. I adore this card. It is one of my favorite of the Mutate cards. It is just brutal, and I'm absolutely making a commander deck out of him. I'm going to seize. Very good. You lurker, Skull Prophet. Lurker's probably going in there. All right. And then Whisper Squad, Garrison Cat. Do, 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 do. Night Squad and Fire Prophecy. Very nice. I really like Fire Prophecy. I think it's a good card. All right. Now we go on to the next pack. I can't just wait to the end to open the topper because then people are watching this later. We'll just be like, fast forward to the end to see the topper. And I'm going to be like, no, I don't want to do that. I kind of want to like open the topper and then hide it under Godzilla. Make people watch this. Mwahaha. And just find the spot where I open the topper. Draneth Magistrate. Interesting. Definitely good sideboard card. Definitely good for humans, I think. Two drop hate bear. Like, I mean, it's eight. But two, all hate bears are two drops. <laughs> Um, I guess it's not technically a hate bear because it's not a two two, but so we will keep going here. Another soldier token, Thornwood Falls. Ooh, another triome, the Forest Island Mountain, the Ketria triome. Very nice. This card, this card is definitely, <laughs> it has caught many, many a person by surprise. Snare Tactician. All right. I'm getting closer to the point where I want to open that box topper anyways, because I'm itching to see it. Foil Memory Leak. Non-foil Gem Razor. We have not gotten a... Oh, no, we got Nethroy. In fact, we got Nethroy. We should put our Mythics in a separate spot. Did we get any other Mythics? I think we just got the Nethroy. Yeah. Just Nethroy. Nethroy. Apex of Death. All right. Ooh, sick. Lord Dragus. I love this card. I love this card. And I love this art on this card. All right. Let's keep going. Cavern Whisperer. All right. Ooh. Full art, Narset of the Ancient Way. Yes. All right, that is that is sick and sexy, and I love it. It's it's awesome. Super happy about that. That will go there because I can't just put it with my mythics. But oh my gosh, that is sexy. Ooh, Zenith Flare, another one of those uh, kind of necessary for those uh, cycling decks. Kind of how they win. Well, that and the fox. All right. One more pack and then we're doing the box topper because I can't wait. I'm sorry. I was waiting for somebody to be viewing publicly, but it, it's not happening. So, um, oh well. 
Human. Forest and other mythos. Snapdax. Ooh, Porky Parrot. One of my lesser favorites. Not that it's a bad card, it's freaking excellent, but it's one of my least favorites. All right. One more and then the box topper. Now let's do the box topper now. I don't know we don't have viewers, but we're not going to get any viewers. And oh yes. Oh, it is time. I should probably sleeve some of these things. All right. Dun dun. Godzilla Doom Inevitable. So that means we've gotten two of those uh big turtle guy. I'm really excited about that. I just need three more. I mean, two more. I can do math. All right, we're going to sleeve up Godzilla Doom Inevitable. We'll go up there with the other Godzilla. We should actually probably sleeve Narset as well. Because it's full art. It's probably worth more than a not full art. All right, that was awesome. Yes. All right. I am happy. I am happy with that. Would have been really cool if I could get one of the uh, neat commanders, but he's not really a commander material. <laughs> hey, Yorian. Companion. It's the standard version of commander. <laughs> All right. Anything else worth time? Oop. Garrison Cat. Like that card. Another Dran the Stinger. Mutual Destruction. Mutual Destruction. Welcome to your doom. And my doom. And his doom. And her doom. And everybody's doom. It's mutual. Okay. Loving these tokens, right? Ooh. Another, another, uh, thing. Ooh, very good cycling card. Sprite Dragon. Love this card, too. So many good things that can happen. And it's my first Sprite Dragon. Just need three more to do what I want to do with it in Pioneer. Hint, it involves feather. And drawing lots of cards. And putting lots of tokens on Sprite, Sprite Dragon. Hey, play Arena, guys! I mean, definitely do. It's definitely awesome. But also, play Arena, guys! Uh, Titan's Nest. You know, not a huge fan of it. I won't lie. It's good. It's not great, in my opinion. But it's good. Trumpeting Gnar, not the foil full art Trumpeting Gnar, but, you know, Trumpeting Gnar. Gloom Pangolin, I love that word. Love pangolins. Also, hug your dino. Everybody, take a minute out of your day and hug your dinosaur. All right. Next pack. Next pack of Rooney. Play Arena. Jungle Hollow, another ultimatum, inspired ultimatum. Very nice. I like the ultimatums because I do play uh, commander, and I can definitely make some worthwhile commander decks with them. Another, f another manga one, and good cards in general. Well, good commons in general. Ram through. I love ram through. It's rabid bite, but better. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Foil Plains and Lurie. For a commander player, there is not much of a worse draw than Lurie. Necropanther, very happy about that. Alright. Pacifism, because I don't have a gajillion of those. Not Lurie, it's Lutri. Lutri, the spell chaser. I really like the card, I just wish it wasn't insta banned. I mean, it has to be, because reasons, but it's still. meh. Mythos! So overall, I'm feeling like this, this box had less mythics, unless we're gonna, like, pull out in the end here, which we might. I mean, you never know. Ooh, Cloud Piercer. Dark Bargain and Boot Nipper. Yes, Boots. Alright. 
Ooh, foil Obosh the Prey Piercer. Very nice. Very happy about that. Look at that, guys. He is such a great companion, and in foil, none the freaking less. Ooh, Dirge Bat. The alt art version of Dirge Bat. The full art alt art version of Dirge Bat. Love this card, too. That was a nice pack. And then I just remembered, well, we'll do this first. Ooh, humans. Heartless Act again. All right. Just remember that I put my foil gem razor over here, so that should go with Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Really like that card. And in foil. Excellent. I like the way the things you can do with all the, you know, limiting how you build your decks. Very nice. Oh, there we go. That's a good mythic. Winota, also an excellent commander. Joiner of forces. Oh, swallow hole. I can see swallow hole seeing some play at least in uh, certain pioneer and standard decks. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think I am because. Swallow hole in like a feather deck? Oh, wait. No, because it doesn't count. Wait. Oh, no, it's an additional cost. Dang. It wasn't an additional cost. Song of Creation. I know this is going for a couple pennies. Oh, we should probably put this in this pile. Alright. Ooh, Huntmaster Liger happy about the end. Love all these alternate arts. They're very cool. Alright, next up. We're almost done, guys. Almost done with this box popping. Hey, hey guys. Play Arena. Actually, absolutely do play Arena. It's a, it's a great thing. I've been playing a lot of it. Um, and if you want to play with me, leave a message on this, and I'll check it at some point, maybe. And uh, maybe I'll throw my thing on there. Another snare tactician. Volpiki, go for blood. We've got, what, one, two, three, six left. Six left, and three mythics. But two foil rares, so that's not bad. Well, technically three, I guess. A Kraken token, yes. Planes. Ooh, Cub Warden. I love this card. I think this card is bonkers. And Alt Art Parcel, Parcel Beast. Hunt Master Lager. All right. Dranith Healer. Cool, cool. Or as Abed would say, cool, 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 cool. Also, if you haven't seen Community, see Community. It is probably one of my it is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Probably one of the best sitcoms ever written. Shark! Hey, we got the Sharknado, now we got the shark for the Sharknado. And right. Ooh, yes! This card. Luca Coppercoat Outcast. This guy is bonkers and a half. That is freaking awesome. All right, and those. And nothing else particularly interesting in that, but Luca, that was not sad for that. Should probably foil, sleeve those, but I'm not yet. I'll do it after this. All right, human soldier. Jungle Hollow. Yes! Luminous Brood Moth. So we got Mothra, guys. I mean, we didn't get Mothra, but we got Mothra. That's exciting. That card is really good. All right, so this 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 box has been bouncing back. <laughs> this box has definitely been bouncing back. Three more packs, guys. Let's see what we get. Cat token. Jungle hollow. Foil lead the stampede. Best card for trample decks in like the war in the world. I know it's a five drop, but like come on, you're running green, you can make that work. All right. 
flash deck stuff. Do 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 do. Gordon to charge. Do 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 do. Cool. 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 Next up, we got two more to go. Let's see what we got in store for us. With these two more to go. All right. Beast token. Mountain. Emergent ultimatum. So we got like three of the ultimatums. That's not bad. Neutralize. All right. And then. Nice. Another full art cavern whisperer. And then the final pack. So one of my friends tells me if you tap them three times and you bonk them on your head three times, which I just did, you're going to get better luck. So let's see if that happens. Tapped it three times, head bonked three times. Let's see if that improves our luck. Token. Gonna go from the back. Well, already a Dreamtail Her Heron. Fire Prophecy. Nice stuff. And that should be the end of it. Yep. Now the three uncommons. Ah, I just put all the commons in the uncommon spot. Let me fix that real quick. No, get to the get to the rare. Jubilant Skybonder. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Valiant Rescuer, very nice. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get. Foil trumpeting Nar. <laughs> All right, now let's see what we get. Bonders Enclave, freaking excellent card, guys. All right, not a bad, not a bad opening. We got what four, five um, mythics. One of them was alt art. We got two foil rares, one alt art rare. Two Triomes, um, Bonders Enclave, and a bunch of other decent cards. Uh, I'm not complaining. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had fun. I certainly did.